Hello mga tutor, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, I am actually making an educational video tutorial. Kaya kung ikaw, ikaw na nanood, nainiwala na learning is a continuous process, then please keep watching my video. And please do consider subscribing na rin. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have my latest video. For today's video, we will be discussing about the basic mathematical operation, but this time we will be dealing with integers and also this video for sure it will help especially those who want to take for the licensure examination for teachers and also the same way goes i guess it will come up also with a civil service exam this uh, basic mathematical operations i lumalabas to sa general education exam so i think don't miss my discussion. So before going through, let us define first what is integer. Integers are zero and all the positive and negative whole numbers. So when we're going to talk about whole numbers, that is one, two, three. Since we are talking about negative and positive, so that means negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on and so forth. Then the, on the positive side is one, two, and three and so on and so forth but this includes zero because the definition says integers are zero and all the positive and negative whole numbers so kung kausapan natin ang basic mathematical operations we are talking about addition subtraction multiplication and division what's the good thing about mathematics is kung magsasolve tayo sa mathematical problems meron tayong mga rules na ipafollow that is why Personally, I like math kasi pag sabihin natin ito yung rules niya or ito yung mga dapat mong i-follow, yun ang gagawin mo. So parang, parang ano lang, parang susundan mo lang yung mga uh, rules ng mathematics, wala kang ilalabag na mga rules, makukuha mo ang tamang sagot. For now, let's begin with addition. Sa addition, there are two rules. So the first rule is... Adding integers that have the same sign is pretty straightforward. Add the two numbers together and maintain the sign. So meaning to say, if you're going to add positive and positive, negative and negative, you are going to add the two number and maintain the sign. That means very simple. If we have, we're talking about addition, huh? If we're going to have like 5 plus 5, positive 5 plus positive 5 is equals to is equal to positive 10. We have two numbers with the same sign, positive and positive. Add the two number and maintain the sign of that number. If we also have negative 2 plus negative 4, so what you're going to do here, they have the same sign negative. So you're going to add the two number and maintain the sign. Meaning to say, your answer would be negative 6. Because we're going to add 2 plus 4 equals 6 and you have to maintain the negative signs. So very basic, very simple. Positive plus positive is equal to positive. Negative plus negative is equal to negative you just add the two numbers together then the second rule would be when adding the integers with different signs ignore the signs at first and subtract the smaller number from from larger the final sum would maintain the sign of the larger number if we're going to have this uh, example based on the definition if we're going to have two numbers if we're going to add two numbers with different signs, what we're going to do is you have to subtract the number. You have to subtract the smaller number to, a bigger, to the bigger number and then follow what is the sign of the largest number. Say for example, you'll have your negative 10 plus positive 2. Your answer here, you have two numbers with different signs negative and positive what we're going to do is you have to subtract the num you have to subtract the smaller number to the bigger number then follow the sign of the greater number so your answer would be negative 8 
because your 10 is greater than 2 and then you're going to subtract the 2 from 10 but what is your greater number you will follow these signs so your answer is negative 8 but what happened if you have like this situation negative 5 plus 11 in this example you're going to subtract the smaller number to the bigger number and then follow the sign of the largest number so meaning to say 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 and your sign is positive 6 because the positive number the greatest number is 11 which is positive number so you're going to follow the sign of 11 your answer is 6 well sa palagay ko ito ay somehow medyo tricky na pagdating sa ating pag-add but for sure, if you're going to remember or just remember, kung makakita ka ng ganitong problem, isubtract mo lang yung smaller number to the bigger number and then follow the sign of the bigger number or the largest number. Like in here, as you see, mataas yung 10, so ipafollow natin na sign is negative 8. Mataas ang 11, which is positive also, so ipafollow natin ang sign sa answer niya. Tapos, sinosubtract lang natin yung mga value niya. That's the only two rules for addition of integers. Dalawa lang. Diba? Very simple. I know na kaya nyo yan. Let's proceed to subtraction. Mabilis lang, diba? I hope na you will remember this kasi lumalabas talaga to sa exam. So, the rules for subtraction. So, for subtracting integers, to subtract integers, we will follow some steps that will transform a subtraction problem into addition problem. We then can follow the rules of addition. Recall that in a subtraction problem, there are three parts. Minuin, subtrahend, and the difference. So, kung meron tayong ganito, ganitong problem, 15 minus 6 is equal to, is equal to 9. This is your minuend. This is your. So this is your minuend. This is your subtrahend. And this is your difference. So the so subtraction problem is a little bit tricky, but. If you master the addition, you can also solve for a subtraction. So for subtraction is, ang gagawin mo lang, change mo yung, va yung sign ng subtrahend. Tapos proceed, ko na, proceed ka na for addition. So say for example, you will have this problem. 14 minus negative 4. So ano ang magiging answer pa ganito yung problem? It change mo yung sign ng subtrahend. So, magiging 4 na siya. Tapos, proceed for addition. Meaning to say, ito, magiging addition na to. Plus 14. So, yung sagot mo dito ay positive 18. Diba? So, it change mo lang yung, yung sign ng subtrahend. And then, proceed to addition. Another example. For example, you will have negative... 22 minus positive 4. Ano yung magiging answer mo dito? So, ang rules natin sa subtraction is, iti change mo yung change the sign ng subtrahend. If you change mo lang yung sign ng subtrahend, gagawin mo dito is change the sign. So, negative 4. And proceed to proceed to addition. So, ang magiging value mo dito is ba? Sa ating addition is like sign sila. Negative and negative. So, i-add natin to. Ang magiging sagot mo ay negative 
Ano nalili? Nakakalito ba? If you remember yung suggestion natin, if same sign, pag i-add mo yung same sign, add the two numbers, and then follow the sign. So, i-add mo yung dalawang number, follow the sign. Negative 22 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 26. Okay? Let's have another example. Negative 15 minus negative 5. So, what is your answer? Yung rules natin sa subtraction, change the sign of subtrahend. Ano yung subtrahend natin dito? Negative 5. Meaning to say, ang negative 5 ay magiging positive 5. Then, proceed to addition. Change natin to plus negative 15. Ano yung rule sa sa addition kung different sign ang kung different sign ang ating numbers i subtract natin yung smaller number into the bigger number so 10 ipa-follow natin ang sign ng greatest number so yung sign dito ng greatest number is negative negative 15 meaning to say our answer is negative 10 okay i guess it's very clear now. Let's have again another example. Negative 20 minus positive 8. Ano yung answer dito? First, change the sign of subtrahend. This becomes negative 8. Correct? Change, proceed to addition. And then, they both have negative sign. So, in addition, rule of addition, pag same sign, i-add mo lang siya, tapos ipa-follow mo yung signs nila. So, the answer would be negative 28. Ta-da! I hope na clear to sa inyo. Kasi mag-proceed na tayo sa multiplication. Actually guys, yung sikreto ko dito, mas maganda yung i-master. Pag malaman mo na yung multiplication, mas magandang na mag-solve sa subtraction kasi minsan mas, mas maganda. Lalo lalo na pag may, may marami ka ng given, mas maganda kung alam mo yung rules ng multiplication. And then you can actually mo, parang mas mabilis mo na, mas mabilis mo na sa'yo yung mga addition and subtraction. Pero the good thing about multiplication is like this. And actually, it would be the same with division. Ang rules lang niya is, multiplying and dividing integers is also similar to multiplying and dividing you have done in the past. The only difference is that with integers, you must be aware of which sign to apply to the final answer. The rules for determining the sign are pretty straightforward. If the sign of the numbers you are multiplying or dividing are the same, the answer would be positive. If the sign are different, then your answer will be negative. This is very simple. Kasi ang rules ng multiplication is ganito. Positive, kung meron kang positive number, multiplied by positive your answer is positive. Mabis mas mabilis tong tatandaan. Kung negative number multiplied by negative, the answer is positive. Pero kung positive multiplied by negative, your answer is negative. Kung negative multiplied by positive, your answer is negative. So, ang dapat lang tatandaan sa multiplication and division is kung pareho ang sign, your answer would be positive. Positive, positive is equals to positive. Negative, negative is equals to positive. Kasi pareho sila ng sign, yung dalawang number. Pero kung magkaiba silang dalawa, negative, positive, yung sagot niya is negative. Kung negative, positive, ang sagot niya is negative. Kung positive, negative, ang sagot niya is negative. So, ito lang ang dapat nyong tatandaan. Let's have an example. Pinaka-basic. 2 times 
2 is equal positive 2 times positive 2. They have the same sign. Your answer would be positive 4. Okay. Negative 2 times negative 2. Your answer, yung rule natin, kung pareho sila ng sign, your answer would be positive. The answer is 4. Okay. Pero kung you will have your positive 2 times negative 2, your answer is negative 4. Okay. Kung meron kang negative 2 times 2, positive and negative, your answer is negative 4. Ngayon lang simple. Actually, the multiplication and division is just the same rules applied. Meaning to say, kung meron kang 2 divided by 2, Kasi magkaiba na, magkaiba na ang answer nila, syempre. Kung meron kang ne 2 ne divided by 2, answer is positive 1. Positive, positive, answer is positive. Negative 2 divided by negative 2, the answer is positive 1. 2, positive 2 divided by negative 2, the answer is negative 1. Negative 2 divided by 2, the answer is negative 1. Same lang siya sa multiplication. Kasi ang multiplication ng positive 2 multiply, 4. So, ganyan lang siya simple. So, actually, yun lang dapat nating tatandaan yung mga rules na mga yun. So, guys, to summarize this, kung... Sa addition, kung pareho sila ng sign, what you're going to do is, you're going to add a two number and then follow the sign. Pag different naman yung signs ng dalawang number is, isubtract mo lang yung smaller number to bigger number and then you follow yung sign ng bigger number. So that's the addition. And then sa subtraction naman is, ang gagawin mo lang, you have to change the, the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition. Tapos sa multiplication and division naman, positive multiplied by positive or numbers with the same sign, I multiply or I divide, the answer is positive. Pero kung unlike sign ang dalawang number, your answer would be always negative. So I guess that's the only thing that you're going to remember so that kung mag-solve ka ng problems na katulad nun is matatandaan mo at you will come up with the correct answer. So yun lang dapat ang tatandaan natin. Pagdating sa mathematics, may mga rules na dapat nating i-follow at hindi tayo mawawala dun sa correct final answer. So I guess that's it for today. And please comment down in the section box below kung ano ang dapat nating next na ituturo sa inyo para at least magkaroon ako ng idea kung ano ang dapat nating i-discuss at i-share ko sa inyo. So, ngayon, if you enjoyed this video or learned something about this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, comment down below. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy! Darn now!